But we are here with Anucard, or is it Anuchard? I have a feeling it's Anucard, like Orchard. Or, eh, I did not even pronounce that word right. Orchard, there we go, Anuchard. But I'm not entirely sure, so we're just going to go ahead, we're going to start game. We're going to start a new one, I think. Yeah. Eons ago, in a place far above, there was a place where I missed it. A vast, prosperous, floating island protected and guided by five ancient guardians. Overflowing fortunes, advanced culture, everlasting peace. Anuchard was said to be a true utopia. Alas, the guardians forsook the Anuchardians. Or is it Anucard? I'm not sure. The utopia broke into pieces and fell from heaven. Leaving only a tiny island and a mysterious dungeon. Why am I so growly with this? A distorted abyss of time and space where guardians were said to remain in slumber. Generations of Anucardians ventured inside with a hope to meet their gods again and rediscover their lost history. They braved against the hostile creatures that dwelled within. Dead, lost, and cursed into stone, many of them fell victim to the dungeon. Yeah, I can see that. I, I've done a little bit. I played the first dungeon. Yet these sacrifices were in vain, for they are nothing without their guardians. In despair and hopelessness. The timing on these needs to be adjusted a little bit. The cries of people awaken the bell wielder. Okay. Yeah, it's each of them has the same amount of length, even though they're different length sentences. So it's a little bit, little bit boggling. Dot, dot, dot. You hold something heavy in your hand. Okay, groovy. Okay, so that's going to be Spire. That's Roll. Actually, the controls are... Okay, so we have this, which is the regular attack. And that is not a heavy attack. Oh, I'm gonna die. It's ex expected. Oh, yeah, we got the actual heavy attack there. Okay. Yeah, there's just too many enemies. We're getting swarmed, my sir! You lost your consciousness. And you heard the voices inside your head grow stronger. Okay. The voices in my head tell me to hit things with the bell. Okay. Oh, chosen one. Bell wielder. Bell wielder. What? <laughs> wake up. Oh, wake up. I cannot do them voices. I apologize. Child, good morning, dear. You seem to be having nightmares lately, you okay? Medisa is your ma, a common, a cotton farmer and single mother. Tends to be serious and overprotective towards you. Is there, is there something on my face? Oh, <laughs> Chief Lembassen was looking for you earlier. Something bad happened last night, and he needs your help at the main hall. Don't let him wait too long there. But I want to... I heard Ricola's husband. Ricola! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Husband's been missing since yesterday. Hope he'll be found soon. Chief Lambison was looking for you earlier. Don't let him wait too long there. <laughs> Old journals you borrowed from the Chief's post to study as your homework. Oh. Pile of fabrics weave for other villages. And I think there, if I remember correctly, there are side quests in this that you can unlock and you have to like, find various things around the town or in the dungeon. Dungeons, I should say. What's up? Ah, good morning! I thought you were staying at the Chief's Post. Oh, it, that's Hila. I can only do the one voice, so... Uh, Clea is your neighbor and childhood friend. She makes pottery for people. Oh, she's a pothead. Oh, it's happening again, huh? Hey, I can make the bad joke. I thought after we closed the dungeon, we could stop that from happening. You don't know? Sir Manto Mantohihi's statue appeared this morning, just like him. Anyway, you should go meet the chief right now. I'm sure he doesn't like to wait. Well, I know where the chief is. I'm just double checking. I want to see what the various environments look like. Here's the coastal ruins. We've got like glowy things. Nothing we can do there yet. I don't know when we actually get to do anything there. I didn't get that far in. 
But anyway, morning, you've heard about Sir Man Manto, hee <laughs> hee, haven't you? Man, we're already short of farmers here. Does this mean another famine will come to this village sooner or later? Ah, oh, just imagining it makes me shudder. Oh no. Find Bell. What? Why are the voices in my head telling me to find Bell? This is not Beauty and the Beast. You have waiting for me. Yo, Medicine's Kid. Heard from the Chief you graduated soon, eh? Speaking of which, she's looking for you. And we're gonna end up in a New York accent if I keep doing that. Kirk. And seems sent. Kirk. There we go. Unfinished log cuts, they belong to the man who went missing not too long ago. Ah, the lumberjack, okay. Missing villagers, and a cottage day, another villager is missing. We must do something about it. On a side note, on Orchard's oldest chief of the refuses to come out from his hermitage. Okay. Oldest chef, okay. And that's the only one we have. We have no side quests, no missing persons, and we can't. Chief's house serves as additional school for children. Okay. We also have you. Kapas. Well, would you leave me alone? Mm, yes. Please. Go. No. We have the children's. There were several cases of villager statues appearing before. No school since there's been a tragedy with Ma'am's husband. So me and Yui are helping with the field work. Have you checked the Orchard News Board? Our school assignment. Today's spotlight. A statue appeared suddenly this early morning. Always deliver the hottest news in the orchard. Okay, <laughs> Yui, don't be so inconsiderate. We lost Sir Manto Hihi. What, really? I have to update the news board. Wait, the school assignment is all you can think about? No class today as our teacher's, as our teacher Ricola just lost her husband. Oh, I feel bad for Ricola. Duyuk. Anto now stone. Ricola sad. Duyuk worry. Duyuk. Oh. Hello. What took you so long, kid? You study history from him. Lembison is your mentor and the chief of the orchard. Sometimes insensitive. You must know that I don't usually let just anyone inside this place, so I need your cooperation, as you're the second best person with whom I can discuss this matter. While Clea is obviously keener than you, I have higher expectations of you as my only pupil. Try to answer this. Don't you disappoint me. What? This morning, Mantohihi's statue showed up, but triggers statue appearances in the orchard. Uh, he entered and got lost in the dungeon. Good job, kid. You did your reading homework. Almost every time a person enters the dungeon, several hours later they came back as stone statues. We can't do anything about the statue after that. But there's something else. What? Lately, I've been studying records of prophecies from our ancestors. And I came up with a theory that involves a certain mythical figure carrying an artifact who might have the capability to undo this so-called curse. I wonder if we can find something that leads us to this figure. That's why I need you here to investigate the statues. Old or new, anything could be an important clue. Dear, why must you go inside that cursed dungeon? Before all that, help me to comfort my sister. She's upset with me because I failed to prevent this tragedy. Okay. Groovy. Hi, hi, chief sister. Brother, you really can't do something about this? Rigola, look, we're having a hard time here and we did our best. You sure? I lost my child and now my husband and you said you have sealed the dungeon portal. I did, but I didn't expect him to break the lock and go inside anyway. I can't control everything, even though I'm the chief. It's my fault for letting them go. Let's see if your seal can stop me from entering the dungeon. Oh no, hey, cut it out, it's dangerous, kid. I gotta prevent more bad things from happening to us. Just look around for any clues. Besides the fact that somebody, like, has desecrated several statues here, both with paint and with just one down there in the bottom left is just smashed all hell. Okay, statue of a timid kid. Statue of a farmer with an afro. Oh no, this must be the kids doing. You have the urge to clean them up, but decide not to. That you have a very chubby and cute hen. Smart looking girl. Tough looking lumberjack. And then just crumbling statues that we can't interact with. 
What about you? Oh, it's a light! Ba -da -da -da. It's dangerous to go alone. Bell wielder. Bell wielder. We are now one. Dolly says, It's a pleasure to meet you, Bell wielder. Call me Dolly. Me, Bimba. You'll remember me as the guy with the loveliest voice. Bimba, Dolly, I guess you can call me Matt. Even though these aren't our real names, I shall have you learn a way of the Bell Wilder. I'm probably not going to do different voices for each of them because I will not keep them straight. Ah, you are prophesied and the chosen one. You are the Bell Wilder, and with Ardros Bell in your hand, the Guardians awaken a power within you. Now you carry the will and legacy of our Anukardian ancestors. Such an immense and heavy task awaits you. Groovy. We can just say, become a hero and restore Anukard, right? Don't confuse our newbie peeps. We should start learning by doing. Let's get into the dungeon. Let us begin with saving Mantohi, the farmer fellow. Ah, we first mission. Yeah, we got the bell. We are the bell wielder. We'll bring them to their bell end. Worry not, you have the Adros bell as your weapon and us bell spirits as your guide. Nice. Anukard has no autosave system, so before exiting or turning off your machine, make sure to save manually. Write in the glowing journal in the chief's office frequently. So yes, it has a manual save. I'm not sure whether it mentioned that the first time I tried this. I think there's been a couple patches since that. I tried it probably about a month ago, actually. Being an aspiring historian, your mentor said to practice journal writing every day. Uh, we are going to write. And see, those were my... I actually, I had gotten to chapter four. I didn't realize I'd gotten that far in. But anyway, we're gonna go. Oh, we do we have multiple pages now. Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna just start a new one. This is gonna be our proper playthrough. So yes, I know a little bit about what's going on. So it's not one of those things where it's like, and no, we can't actually go in there. This will fill up with just various stuff. But we're trading the orchard village in the center with a great baobab tree above the main hall. The tree was said to have. Wilted after the fall of Anacard, there's also a visual depiction of the long-lost part of the island labeled as Indigo Red Mountain and Gold Pyramid. Okay. But yeah, we've only... I've only done so much in it. I don't remember most of the dungeons, so it's going to be relatively just a blind playthrough. This first session's probably going to be just retreading the ground that I did during the test. And then after that, we'll go ahead and jump into some more... Like, new things for me. So I won't even have an idea of what to do. And... Yes, for the review, I am going to be going with a bit of uh, reference to that original one that I probably won't encounter here. Ain't that place supposed to be off limits? Why did the chief and his sister run inside? Uh-oh, the dungeon's entrance broke open and I saw the chief and Ma'am Ricola run inside. They were We were told not to follow, but... But, 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 but... Let me go! Ricola, No! Ricola. I'm gonna keep doing that. You should stay out of this kid. I can I can handle a family member myself. Move away, brother! If you can't destroy this damned entrance, then let me become a statue alongside my husband and my child. You're talking nonsense. It's really sad to see these people turn away from hope. We have no time for this. If we want to save that manto he guy, quickly get inside the dungeon. Hold on. I do not encourage such a reckless act. Alright, we need to find his memento. Memento is an object that has a connection to someone's soul. Bell wielders can use it to locate a safe path to find the trap souls inside. Let's search. Ah, it's a banana pin. I hear something going twinkle twinkle over there. Obtained banana pendant. Oh, it's a pendant, not a pin. Ta da da! -da! Momento of momento. Okay, we are ready to depart, Bell wielder. Bye. What? Oh no! Yonk. I mean, we whipped out a giant bell. There might be something to that. On waking up, you feel your skin is tingling from the unfamiliar air and you hear all kinds of foreign sounds. You feel nauseous from the teleportation and are somehow feeling guilty. Oh. No one seems to be around. Welcome to the dungeon! I miss this atmosphere so bad. The dungeon! Would you get used to us already? We're inside the bell, noob. Bell wilder, that is. Right, we're training a next-gen bell wielder, huh? The dungeon can be fun, but it can also be deadly. Don't be discouraged. A bell wielder's strength is unlike that of any human being alive. 
We now go explore the curious monkey. Okay. So I don't think there's any real big secrets on here. I think this is the tutorial area. So as opposed to just getting beaten up, we can beat up various things and no, we can't really do anything to that. And these do regrow. I don't know why. Okay, don't usually throw spoilers, but we'll be greeted by a party loving Oh, we'll be greeted by party loving monsters soon. Oh, nostalgic. Defeat them. Okay. And yes, I, I know I'm not supposed to know how to do that yet. And I don't... I, actually, Yahweh, I think we do actually have the um, ability to drop a pillar. And I will take unnecessary damage all the time. I am not good at dodging. But I am going to go through and fill up that green bar. Some enemies have armor properties displayed above them. This decreases your attack damage significantly. Use heavy attack to dash towards them and knock them away upon contact. Knocking enemies into walls or solid objects will break their armor. Okay. I have a feeling that's in the next room. Oh, it's just extra hint. Okay. So we broke his armor. And yes, it does stun them temporarily whenever you smack the crap out of them like that. With the heavy attack. I don't know if that works on all the enemies. I just know that it works on, like, the small enemies we encounter early on. Okay. So this should be probably... I think this is the tutorial that tells us how to use the healing pretty soon. So we've got a downward path and a left path. Let's go left first. Hi, guys. And yes, I can juggle. <laughs> I'm trying not to spoil the little bit that I do know about it before I get there. That's just one of those things. Because then we'll get later on and it'll be like, oh, you, you didn't know this already? Sigh, to think my little kid has to endure this dark and cold place for long. It's kind of calming, but I can sow my superb cabbage seeds here. I think I brought it in my pocket. Oh, wait, I came here for my kid, but just look at this soil. The record ends here. Dark, does he have a sighting problem? The Audra's Bell grants his vision in the dungeon. Do not take it for granted. Totally forgot about that. I'm more interested with this cabbage planting idea. Imagine we can have a salad while beating those stupid red cubes. Yeah, he did plant him cabbage. Okay, so we're not going to break all those because we are actually full on our charge up there. Okay, so this one. I'm trying to remember how we're supposed to do this one. Oh, here it is. I want to go like, okay, which way do I want to go with that? Oh, I have to, yeah, heavy hit it. And it'll just stop its little thing there. Oh, wait, it, it won't go down? What? Oh, I know what I have to do. Those don't block it. I forgot. I forgot. I know that I have to bounce it on some of these. Anyway, that's how we hit that. Let's go ahead and just double check if there's nothing worthwhile here. There is not. We actually... We do not actually have the uh, heal thing yet. Okay. That was our first little unlock there. We have to unlock both of them. And then this one is, boop, where we learned that. ba -ding. Got it. So... Yeah, we're 95 out of 100 life. Oh, no. Yeah, we should be fine. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And ow. Just took a buttload of damage there. Shouldn't have, because I'm a dingus, but alas, it's fine. But I think this is what we were looking for. Yeah, Spire. This is our healing item. Time for another Bell Wielding 101. It's a Spire, a, technical a technological marvel from the past and a Guardian civilization. It is making use of the Guardian's energy. This one can only heal your wounds, but you might find another type that has more features. Must have been left here by the scavengers or even older than that. Select Essence to fill the green gauge on the left. We've been doing that. Once the bar is full, you can plant a Spire. Spire will rejuvenate your health as long as it's still active. So we drop that. Da da da. And it'll just top us off. 
And I think it does have like a fixed range that it'll do that at. But that's one reason why I stopped smashing these kind of things is because those little green QB things that come out are the way we recharge it. So we also have another thing down here from him. Bonk. Huh? I can leave a message here? Okay. I, Mantohihi, a cabbage farmer who loves bananas, came here to find my trapped child. I'm getting used to this place, but it's slowly taking over my consciousness. I just don't want any more people getting trapped like me or my child. Huh? Monsters! The record ends there. I guess, let's guess what you think killed him. The fool, wild, or gun? <coughs> How can the kid know? Oh, fool is the stupid tofu. Wild is the four-legged and slightly smarter. Gun seems like an alien range type. Nice explanation. What's alien? You guys are alien. You're inside my head. Get out of my head. Now, you fools. I like how there's points where there is water, and then there's points where it's just like, the great abyss below. Oh, that one is... Okay, so we just need to keep these clear. It comes back. There you go. And there's our first unlock there. Relatively easy one. And yes, those are going to get more challenging as we go further in. Especially whenever it comes to unlocking kind of like side areas. I happen to know that from first-hand experience. I had to do a dungeon twice because I, it didn't tell me that you can bounce it. So I... That's something I know now that I didn't know on that first playthrough, and I should probably be mildly cranky about it, unless they've actually patched in a little thing to kind of tell you that. Which would be kind of nice. It'd be very, very nice. Oh, we got some enemies. I want the range guy down first. And just launch them off. Yeah, they're smarter, but they're not that strong. Oh, nope. Ah, don't get juggled. There we go. That's going to unlock the other one. I'm going to go ahead and smash these to get some more energy. Oh, wait, I can actually drop one out right now. I'm going to save it, you know, just in case. Probably shouldn't be picking those up, but they'll, I think they vanish eventually once you've broken the, the grass. As we get sucked into a black hole. Shit, you good, Bimba? That one's cl that that one's clumsy portal. I'm feeling queasy now. It was uh, another sophisticated Anucardian technology. Well, yeah, a smoother ride would be better. Well, thanks. I sense something. This one is strong. Get ready. Knock him around. Oh nope, it got me. And yeah, we don't want to smack it while the shield is... Let's go ahead and drop one of those, just to get it out of the way. I want to get his little friends first. Because we're probably going to pick up some more green just going around here. Okay, so he's going to drop it back up. Bonk! Yeah, yeah, this is not pleasant feeling. Got him. Aha. He wasn't that tough. He wasn't that tough the first time either. It was just kind of like learning his mechanic is that he can like recharge himself. And yes, you do have bosses like that in at least the first few dungeons. I don't know if they're like constantly in them. But you will generally have bosses. We'll go ahead and smack all these. I don't think we need the healing between dungeons. This is what I think it is. Hmm, I hear a familiar sound coming from this long corridor. The, it's the bellflowers. Bellflowers often grow near where trapped souls is. For real though, how could you recognize a flower from its sounds? If only we had scent receptors, I could prefer to sniff the flower. Mm, don't we have it? It's not the time for your squabbles. Okay. And you can hear them kind of chime as we go through. There it is, our cabbage farmer guy. Ah, uh, just look how sad it is. Bell Wilder, strike the ghost with your Adros Bell. 
What is it? You're too afraid to beat the ghost? The longer it's in that form, the more dangerous it becomes. So, it'd be amusing if it's transforming into... No, it's dangerous. Worry not. It would not do any harm to the soul of good people. Bong! Mantohi. Sorry, my child. Uh, I thought he was going to say cabbage. Congratulations, Bell Wilder, your first relic. Now let's let the bell take us back. Okay, so we'll we'll emerge from the dungeon. Ouch. It's sadness. They're like, why did she go in? 